does the tornado get in a bottle? Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Fam! Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess Granny! Today, we're gonna be doing the Tornado in a Bottle Science Experiment! But, how does the tornado get in a bottle? Well, we have to make it! But, first, let me show you all of the things that we need for our experiment. We need empty 2-liter bottles, water, lamp oil or food coloring, a funnel, and a connector. So, and now we need to go storm chase and find us a tornado to put it in the bottles? No, Granny, storm chasing is not safe and you can't do that at home. Oh, but you said, I am so confused. Well, let me show you. So, first, what we wanna do is take our two liter bottle and add our water. But, okay. I'm gonna use the funnel because I like to be extra safe and clean. Okay, so I'm just going to pour my water in like so. Whoa, check it out. And you're gonna fill it up till you're almost full to the top. Now it's your turn, Granny. Oh, now I put my water in here? Mm hmm <laughs> Is this a tornado water? Nope, it's just water from the sink. This is very hard. Can I ask an adult to help? If you can hold this, mm -hmm. then I can use two hands. So if you need help, ask an adult, okay? Whoa! Next, you add the connector. But if you don't have a connector at home, you can make one like we did. So we use the top of the Coke bottle here. We put it together with glue, and then we taped it together. Hmm. So, we have a, a double, double top lid. Oh, and, and don't forget to cut a hole in it too, because that's really important. Hello, I can see you. Okay, now what do I do with it? You connect your two bottles. Oh, okay, I'll connect this right here, mm -hmm. and tighten it real good, yep. and then... Do Not I... that way, Granny, the other way. Oh, the I empty bottle on top! <gasps> I see. I'm glad you're paying attention to what Granny's doing. And nice and tight. And then you flip and you spin it. Oh, so you flip it like this and you go like this? Mm -hmm. <gasps> wow, I have a tornado! Good job, Granny! can do it again, Granny, but this time I say you add either a blue or red lamp oil mm -hmm. or you could add any color food color you want. <gasps> Ooh, what are you going to do? Mm, I'm not sure yet. You choose first. Hmm, I think, I think I should choose <gasps> some food coloring and I'm going with <gasps> green. So we just put some in here. Oops! Whoa, look at this! This looks awesome! I'm ready for my green tornado! Let's see it, Granny! Whoa. And, 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 and! Oh. Whoa! Can you see it? Oh no, it's so dark! He's hard to see, but he's in there! Oh, I know what we could do, Granny. What? We could add more water. <gasps> yes! More water, more water, more water! I think that's good, Granny! And look how much lighter it is now! Mm -hmm. Good job, Granny! And we're gonna put this back. Oh, nothing. What did you do? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay, I think it's gonna look a lot better this time. I sure hope so! Okay, ready, set, tornado!
Awesome job, yeah. Penny. But it's your turn finally. What okay. are you going to do? Mm, since you did the food coloring, I'm gonna go with the lamp oil. Should I go with the red or the blue? Hmm, mm. I wish there was pink. Me too, but eh, I'm gonna go with the blue. Okay. okay. So with this lamp oil one, make sure you're real careful with this. Okay, so, Granny, I'm gonna have you help me with this one. Okay, do you want me to hold this? Yes, please. I'm gonna pour in. I'm gonna use both hands. And I'm just gonna pour in. Let's see how much am I gonna pour in. Mm, I think that's good enough. Whoa! Whoa Granny, look, the oil stays separated from the water. It does. Mm -hmm. It's not like mine where it got all mixed up. Nope, it sure doesn't. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this handy handy connector here. Mm -hmm. And make sure you get on real tight. And then mm -hmm. I'm gonna add this one on the top. I'm super excited. I wonder how Me this is gonna look. Oh, okay. Ooh, strong arms. All right. Come down with it! That's amazing! Again, again, again! Do it again! Okay! Shake, shake, shake! Whoa! Whoa! Check out the lamp oil! It's within the tornado! Do you guys know how tornadoes form? If you do, leave it in the comments below to let us know. But this is our version of mm -hmm. how they form. So, you need a supercell thunderstorm, which is rain, hail, lightning, and super fast wind. And then we have warm, moist air that rises. And we have cool, dry air that sinks and they meet. Uh-huh, and they move in different directions and create a vortex. Yes. The wind gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And faster and faster and faster. And then touches the ground. Mm -hmm. And becomes a, a tornado. tornado. And this is the end of today's tornado lesson. If you like more science experiments, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, princess and princesses. Bye. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, friends and princesses. It's Princess. Today we are back with another science experiment, Halloween edition. So this is a super easy experiment, but you really, really, really need your parents' help on this because in today's experiment we're going to be dealing with dry ice, and you should never touch this with your hands. That's why we have these giant spoons. I also have my goggles. Right here, and then I also have on a lab coat. So here we have some water, and what we're gonna do is super easy. I put a little hole underneath this jack o' lantern. So we're gonna add oh, some dry ice. And look at this, it makes noise on my food. Okay, into here, we're gonna add another one. Oh, oh, into here, and oh, another one into here, and then. Take my jack o' lantern and put it in the hole. Let's take a look at my friend. Oh, do you guys see that? That is super duper cool. Okay, I'm gonna move my friend, Mr. Jack o' lantern, over here, and we're gonna do more dry ice experiments. So, before we get started on part two of our experiment, let's think about it a little bit here. What do you think happened? Well, first of all, this reaction is a physical reaction. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. Do you know why we call dry ice dry ice? Well, it's because it never enters a liquid state as it melts. Unlike regular ice, which melts into liquid water. Dry ice transformed directly to carbon dioxide gas form. 
So pretty much what happens is the dry ice just takes in heat from the water and turns into a gas. So in front of me, I have lots of water and I have lots of food coloring. We're just gonna put different food coloring in. So we have yellow, my favorite teal. Also got red over here. I poured my food coloring in and I'm just gonna mix. So here we have pink water, purple, orange, red, teal, my favorite, and last but not least, yellow. Okay, and next we have our dry ice. Remember, do not touch this with your hands. Ask a parent for help. And then I'm just gonna take one of these and drop it in. Okay, prince and princesses, that's the end of today's science experiment. See you guys next time for some more. If you would like more science experiment, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, prince and princesses. Bye.